Hello, in this section of the tutorial we're going to learn how to use the calculator to calculate certain statistical properties of our list. So usually when you have a list of data like we've been entering you want to calculate the mean value of that data or maybe you want to calculate the standard deviation uh, or you know uh, lots of other things that you might want to calculate just at a glance statistics about what your data is maybe you have grades you enter your grades into your calculator and you want to average the values or look at what the standard deviation is of, of the grades in your class or something like that so the first step as always is to enter the data we'll go into the edit menu and this is left over from the previous uh, little tutorial so I'm going to leave it in here we have a, a list one and a list two and they're just numbers this is representing the temperatures that we were measuring this is just silly numbers that we put in to represent the days of the month so you can enter anything you want and that's just gonna be fine so let's go ahead and leave that there and uh, you would spend some time entering that and then the next thing you want to do is go back into the stat menu and go over to the calc menu and the first two lines are interesting one variable statistics and two variable stats so let's go ahead and hit one variable stats and this is going to basically calculate a whole potpourri of cool little things that usually would take longer in a you know a lesser calculator will be done at a at an, in an instant so one variable stats is put on the stack here and we need to tell it what uh, list we want to operate on so if you remember list number one was kind of boring list of numbers uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and list number 2 is our temperature. So let's go ahead and put in L2 for our temperatures and then hit enter. And then when we do that, we're going to see the calculator has done the hard work and calculated a ton of things that we are going to be interested in. And we'll just go down the list briefly. Uh, well, the first thing is the mean value. This is basically what would happen if you had taken all of your uh, values and added them all up and then divided by the number of values you had. It's just the average value. Uh, the next line is the sum of the of the x value so if you would just add them all up and you can see that these two look close because if I were to take this number and divide by 10 because I had 10 days I get the average value but this is just adding up all the values uh, this is the sum of the squares so if I took every one of those temperatures and squared it and then added them all up I would get this number here the reason the calculator gives you these is because when you're doing certain calculations and statistics this is a useful number to have for instance calculating the standard deviation so that's provided there for you just in case the next guy here is called the sample standard deviation and the population standard deviation and I will leave the difference between these two um, to be discussed in your statistics class but they're both calculated here for you so you can get a feel from this that will basically tell you this is sort of like the deviation about the mean so the mean value of the temperature was 67.5 degrees on average the uh, temperature swing on either side of the mean was seven and a half degrees so you can kind of tell you how tightly packed your data is is really what it is how how narrowly packed is your data is it very spread out are the temperatures spread out crazy did I have a lot of days you know even though 67 was the average did I have a lot of days around 10 degrees did I have a lot of days around 100 degrees or were most of the days packed around the mean which in this case it was only seven degrees on average plus or minus that's what that means the next guy is this is just the total number of samples you had uh, the minimum num the minimum value you had was 60 the first quartile which is the lower 25 percent percentile of our data was 61 the median was 66 the up third quartile was 75 degrees the maximum data value we had was 80 degrees so it does all of this in the blink of an eye and this is one reason why this calculator is so great because to calculate all these things by hand um, especially if you had maybe like what 15 samples 20 samples it would take quite a quite a bit of time to calculate but here not only are you given the answers you're given the intermediate steps so that you can reconstruct these answers if you needed this value to calculate the standard deviation you could you could totally do that so that's one variable statistics um, now there's another option in here if you go in the stat menu go back to calc instead of one variable statistics you can calculate two variable statistics so you have to put that there and you have to tell it what two lists uh, you have so we'll go ahead and put L1 and then put a comma and then we'll put L2 so you have to put your list separated by a comma remember L1 is just the days of our month pretty boring data L2 is our temperatures so we hit enter and it thinks for a second and it says here are your two variable statistics your for list number one the mean was five and a half remember 
Um, all that was was a listing from one to 10. So the average value makes a good bit of sense, five and a half. Uh, you have the standard deviation here. The number of samples was 10. Uh, and then it goes on to some information about our next list, our Y list. It should give us exactly the, the same information here. And it does. So we've got that. And then all this stuff is the same. The only thing that it does differently is it gives you the sum of the product of those two guys. So um, element number one times element number one of the other list is going to give you a number. And then you do that for every element and add them all together. It's just a number that's useful in some statistical calculations is why it's given to you here. The minimum value is 1. The maximum value uh, is 10 of x. The minimum value of y is 60. The maximum value is 80. No big surprise there. We've already done that. So two variable statistics is just needed. Maybe you're, you're calculating, you know, you took some data and, and you're looking at the temperature uh, during the day and you're also looking at the number of sales you made for your door-to-door -door sales. You know, how many sales did you make on those days? So maybe you can see if there's a correlation between um, the heat of the day and how well you performed as a salesman. So you would have two lists of data and it's just a quick way at a glance to look at the mean of both of those lists, the standard deviation, the min max values, the median, uh, and so on. So it's a pretty unique, uh, you know, neat thing. And there's really not much more to say about it because, um, with other calculators, calculating all these values just takes a great deal of time, especially if you have more than a few, um, data values here in the TI, you just go to the list menu. Uh, you just put the stuff in there and then literally it's one button click and you've got all the information at your fingertips.